Here we are, midday with Miami-Dade County Parks. Fall is just around the corner with the official day being Wednesday, but we do want you to fall in love with parks and find out what are some of the fall happenings this week. And with me today, I have Edith Torres joining us in the studio from our parks communications team. So Edith, I have to tell you, every time we have a new guest, I think it is critical and important that our visitors get to know about you. So how long have you been with Miami-Dade County Parks? Um, I've been with Miami-Dade County Parks uh, 15 years going on, 16 already. So um, I actually started during the 75th anniversary celebration, which is when the Lovin', which is one of the things we're talking about today, first came on board. So happy to talk to you about that. Yeah, always coming full circle with parks, right? Always, always. So what's your favorite memory uh, working with parks? Um, actually, the events, all of the events are a lot of fun. And so Lovin' being one of my favorites. And we used to have one called Rib Fest and, and everything that we do for, for parks. I love our heritage parks are some of my favorites. Um, Matheson Hammock, A.D. Barnes, uh, just, there's just so much treasure in the Miami-Dade park system. So I love it all, to tell you the truth. Yeah, and events are so important. And of course, because of COVID, we had to scale down at some of the offerings of our events. But we are so excited that Love In is returning to Miami-Dade County Parks. Um, and I do have to say that you are one of my favorite authors um, with Miami-Dade <laughs> County because you share the great news of parks. And today you are here. Look at the way you're dressed. I know. Right? Because the Love In <laughs> takes us back to... The 70s, 80s, and 90s. 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh, way back. Way, way back. back. Way back. With that. So today, you're going to talk about the return of the Lovin', which is an outdoor concert event. So I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to dress up because I want to teleport to that event, almost like the Woodstock area, while you share just some basic dates and times, if you don't mind. And producer, if we could put the Lovin' logo up on the screen and I'm going to teleport back to the seventies and be right back. Sounds great to me. So this, so the love in this year will be Sunday, October 3rd. It uh, gates open at 10 AM and music and concerts start at noon. Uh, anytime you arrive will be fantastic. Um, the tickets are going to be $15. And if you purchase now through October 1st, tickets are buy one, get one free. Um, but we'll talk a little more about that as you uh, uh, get ready to join me here in uh, your wonderful attire. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I am back. How about this? Sounds your great. little flower power representing the 70s. And I am in my 80s or my attempt, my, my attempt at 80s. This is a true 80s pin. And some 80s earrings. I have to tell you, what gave it away <laughs> is your hair. My hair. I tried to poof it up as much as possible, but the humidity has made it go down. <laughs> uh, you look fantastic. So representing all of those who really enjoy the 70s, Edith is representing the 80s. And of course, you still have uh, the 90s that will be part of this outdoor concert event. Yes. So let's jump into um, what is being offered. So my, my ultimate favorite part of the event is, of course, seeing everybody dressed up but the features are the performers. So exactly. let's jump to see uh, what, who will be performing. So we have this year some tribute bands and um, we're tributing. So there's Pure Heart, which is a heart a tribute band. So the, the, the group Heart uh, with Barracuda um, is one of their, their hits. Uh, Mr. Nice Guy, which is a classic rock band and The Boss Project. And who do you think that is? Uh, the boss that's got to be Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen, who's I who's more of the it. 80s, the 80s. So that's why I'm an 80s girl. I came. I so am I graduated high school and college in the 80s. So the boss project. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, these these guys sound very much like the actual band. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be well, a lot of fun. Well, let's do this, producer. You think we could just jam to a little bit of uh, pure heart? Let's try that for a little bit. And just so that way, sit back and enjoy what's going to be featured at the Lovin' October 3rd. So we're just going to enjoy a little bit of one of the feature bands called Pure Heart. And of course, there, uh, check this out. I'm ready to 
head jam. <laughs> and then just hearing them live in that setting of beautiful Reynolds Park exactly. is amazing. I appreciate you, producer. We're going to move on because aside from these great bands, and you know, we're going to try to groove to a little bit of the music throughout this segment. Sounds um, great. But let's find out what other event features are happening and our patrons are going to experience. Okay, so um, food truck. So I think it's not just uh, music, it's also a food event. So there's going to be a lot of food trucks. And then new this year, we're going to have an Oktoberfest as well. Mm. So there's going to be authentic German food, bratwurst, pretzels, fantastic, uh, German beer. Um, in addition to, like I said, food trucks and some other vendors that will have like other food products to have. And, and we'll have also um, American and craft beer uh, being sold separately if you don't like the German beer. So there's a little bit of, of everything if you're a foodie or, or a beer drinker or or you just want to enjoy yourself and be out with your family at a beautiful setting. So that's one of the things. We're also going to have, as you know, a costume contest, which is why we came prepared, dressed in the best we could <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> in period pieces. Um, but some people actually really go all out and they do a great job. And um, so they could come dressed 60s, 70s, or 80s. It doesn't matter. You you pick your you pick your era. And um, we're also going to have classic cars, which is another feature. It's another fan favorite that everybody comes out to see. And, and it's kind of nice that you're already reminiscing the past to like also see what the kinds of cars that people used to drive at the time. And then um, another thing, which is we can't forget that we're parks. And with parks comes conservation and resiliency. So as you know, Eco will be there and our sea turtle awareness and a lot of dis on display with a lot of information, but we're also gonna have the Adrian Arsht uh, Foundation Community uh, Night Foundation Community Resilience Pod. It's a long name, I had to remember it. Adrian Arsht uh, Rockefeller Foundation Community Resilience Pod. They're gonna be on display. They uh, normally people can go inside, but because of COVID, it, they'll just be open and you'll be able to see it. But there'll be people there that will be talking about conservation, resiliency, and they'll be giving out seedlings for all those people that want to go home. They'll actually go home with some seedlings that they'll be able to plant and either get a plant or a tree in their backyard or wherever they want to plant it and and giving back to, to our community. So as you know, parks is very important and that's why Grenolds park having it be a heritage park and also the place where lovin originally was in the 60s people actually would go to grenolds in the 60s for concerts and they called it lovin back then so that we're continuing that heritage but we also have this beautiful park setting that has conservation at its core with trails and and we have the Alita River that flows through the back. And people, in addition to the event, they could go out and explore everything that Grenolds Park has. So it's a beautiful setting. I'm loving it. Right. Just like I love the loving. Loving it. Um, but this year, adding that conservation component. In fact, um, conservation has been a staple at the Lovin. I remember that we were recycling all of the beverage containers that were being produced at that event and we recycled them as well. Right. And of course, our sea turtle conservation program, you mentioned they'll be there. Oh, Eco Adventures yeah. will be there as well, really focusing on coastal conservation, the importance of you know, life through water. And you mentioned the Alita Park that runs through that park. So the Alita River, yes. Yep, the Alita yes. River. And then, you know, so we'll have concerts, food, classic car, great dress up, informational session. It's like our parks department. We have something for everyone. everyone and exactly. October 3rd, you'll be able to experience that at Grenolds Park. Exactly. And if you buy your tickets, like I said, they're $15. And if you buy them now, by October 1st, which is just a, a little over a week away, you buy one, you get one free. But your ticket will actually help support conservation efforts at Miami-Dade Park. So that's a portion of the proceeds from each ticket will go to conservation efforts at Miami-Dade Park. So really, conserv it's all about love, loving your planet loving each other, loving music, loving your family, just love, love yeah, it all. And just come <laughs> into, you know, wonderful peace and such a beautiful setting, exactly. you know, and with that uh, producer, I think we're going to start uh, to listen and get into the group with our next 
um, band that's going to join us there. Is that the boss project? Ooh, let's start with the boss. I think so. Oh, da, 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 classical. Da, da. <laughs> I'm ready to go. And the lead singer, I checked him out. He looks, he looks <laughs> like Bruce Springsteen. He does. He moves like him. He does. I can't wait to see I him know. live. He's, it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. And this is the Boss Project band that will be there at Grenold on October 3rd. And he even sounds he like sound, him. It's, it's the next best thing. Wow. <laughs> really looking forward to that. Well, thank you uh, for grooving to uh, the Boss Project. Now, I, I do want to venture into, of course, safety, right? We are uh, having the Love and Return back as one of our major events, one of our signature events in Miami-Dade County Parks. Talk to me about the COVID safety protocols and how we're going to continue to be outdoors and stay safe. Well, definitely we're going to have the hand sanitizers at every station. So because, you know, people are eating and all of that, and we're definitely going to have that. Uh, everyone will be, there'll be signs everywhere to maintain social distancing, because even though we're outdoors, we really need to maintain social distancing Absolutely. and make sure that we're not, you know, too close and, and crowded, which has happened in the past towards the stage. Um, so we really need to maintain uh, social distancing. Masks, because we're outdoors, masks were still not needed. However, you should bring your mask because if it gets to a point where social, you can't social distance, if it's in a line or, or what have you, and somehow they have to move people, you will need to have your mask. So, um, and if you forgot your mask, we'll be giving out masks at the door. So um, we still ask you because it's, you know, the quantity is limited and we don't know how many we'll have. Um, but, you know, you should bring your mask and be prepared to wear a mask should you not be able to social distance. You but know, we're going to make really, sure. I really, really appreciate that, that although we're outdoors, we uh, recommend that you bring your mask. Yes. And I could tell you, Eka Adventures is going to be there and we want to have engagement with the community. Exactly. So once you're visiting um, the vendors that are going to be out there, when you're going to purchase your food from the food trucks, exactly. um, please consider others around you and exactly. just wear your mask when you're either visiting the vendors or purchasing right. your beverages. Right. That's always important. Right. Thank you for that and reminder. It's, and it's safety for our staff and our and our patrons. So we don't know who's vaccinated. We, you know, so just it's the best possible to think of others Again, in the loving, we're we're just loving on each other. So we'll come prepared with a mask and know that we will social distance. But you'll still have a great time, and every every corner of the park is a great view. So you're not going to miss out. That you're is not going to miss out. A uh, great natural areas view, uh, beautiful heritage and historical features in that park. Right. Um, but I have to be honest. So I'm going to the park. I'm going to a concert. Can I bring my cooler? Can I bring my pet? I mean, there are yes. park rules that need to be followed. Exactly. This is an event. So any any tips you could give us there? Yes. So so I'm going to say the only things that, that are a no. This is where we're not loving on, on y'all. Uh, no coolers, no personal food and beverages, and no pets allowed. However, and no, and no umbrellas. Why? Because then you can't, you block someone else's view to the stage. So no coolers, no food and beverage, no personal food and beverage, no pets, and no personal umbrellas. However, this is where we're loving again. You can bring your own chair, you can bring blankets, you can bring a Frisbee, you can toss a football, you can do all of that as long as you're not tripping on everyone, as long as you're still safe. Um, you can do all of that. So, um, just no pets. I, you know, me and my pets, you know, I love my doggies, but no pets, yeah, no pets, no coolers. Fur babies. I love my fur babies, no pets, no coolers, no personal food and beverage and no, um, personal umbrellas. Well, thank you for those tips. And Sounds of course good. we want to make memorable, uh, moments there at this Grenolds Park, taking us back, but also enjoying this wonderful event at our park. So how do I get tickets? How do I sign up? Go to our webpage. It's very easy. MiamiDade.gov slash lovin. No hyphens anywhere. So MiamiDade all together, one word, dot G-O-V slash lovin. No hyphen, L-O-V-E-I-N. MiamiDade.gov slash lovin.
All right. So, producer, we're just going to groove to just our last featured band, and they're known as Mr. Nice Guy, right? So, if you like classic rock, I'm going to say uh, this is the band that you're going to join on October 3rd. Exactly. Right? Right. <laughs> there you go. myself out there already just moving. I'm already a great artist up on stage with the scenery of the park making conscious efforts of conservation exactly and if you were there in the 60s this will bring you way back <laughs> there it is I was waiting for that vocal that rock solid rock Thank you, producer. I appreciate you and allowing us to groove to those great bands that are going to be taking the stage at Reynolds Park October 3rd for the Lovin'. For the Lovin'. Lovin' Music Festival. Well, it's thank festival. you, Edith. I do want you to stick around because we have some great programs happening. Fall starts on Wednesday. So um, hopefully my hair looks still okay. I'm still going to keep my flower power on. Um, <laughs> but I want to share a couple of things that are happening during this last week, heading into the last week of September into fall. Did you know today's Monday? Did you know that every Monday until September 27th, you could enjoy Zoo Miami only for $15? That's a great deal. What a bargain. That's a Top bargain. 10 zoo in the nation here in our Miami-Dade County, South Florida uh, community. And every Monday, and you have until September 27th for this Monday $15 feature to go to Zoo That's Miami awesome. and really see conservation at its Best. international level, right? Yep. It's amazing. So, the work that they do there is just amazing. And the the animals and the care that they put in, it's just, it just continues to get better. When you, you think something can't get any better and it does, it always gets better. So just every, every, every inch of that zoo is spectacular. And it's a great place to make memories all the time, year round and in our back door. I just remembered that resiliency pod that's going to live, be at Lovin' was actually featured at Zoo Miami, Zoo Miami. earlier this year earlier as well. This year, yes. So that resiliency pod is traveling throughout the community. It was at Zoo Miami and it will be at Grenolds Park October 3rd. So there's always a park connection always. to the great always. conservation efforts happening throughout our park system. Always, yep. All right, so what's happening the rest of this week? I really want to make sure that um, I share this with you. I know we're having these um, atypical weathers, I want to say you know, where you have great sunshine during the morning hours and then a thunderstorms, right, heading into the end of the hurricane season. But Miami-Dade County Parks through Ecos Avengers wants to take you through these great nature-based activities. So not sure if you've participated, but on Tuesday the 21st, even throughout the week as well, we have our Clear Kayak Adventures that's going to launch mm -hmm. out of the Crandon Park Nature Center. Looking for something to do on a Wednesday if you have your kids in homeschooling. A.D. Barnes Park is hosting a homeschool program on Wednesdays, so that's something to consider. If you can't come out this Wednesday, please check out our homeschool enrichment program through our nature centers with Miami-Dade Excellent. Parks. So evening programs. Amazing. Every Friday at 7 p.m., you could hike through the trails and have um, creature features. So, yeah. Just before Halloween, how, how much more can you get in the mood for Halloween and by the, this? And the wildlife <laughs> features are going to be bat walks and owl Amazing. walks, and then you end with a campfire. And, you know, I love owls, and it's surprising how they are in our – they are in Miami-Dade County. And when you see them, you're like, ah, oh, an owl. I love them. Yeah, the hardwood hammock forest that we have here in Miami-Dade County, which are protected and managed by Miami-Dade County Parks and our programs with the eel, um, the environmental uh, endangered, endangered lands. land <laughs> uh, unit. Thank you, Edith. Um, those hardwood hammocks are such wildlife corridors Incredible. in this great big city and yeah. Miami-Dade Parks is those park connectors. So yeah. we see them all the time. And if you want to check them out every Friday at seven, we do offer Creatures of the Night, 
uh, walks and you end with a campfire. Excellent. And now this Saturday, I know that high school uh, students are looking for volunteer uh, programs. In fact, last Saturday, we participated in the International Coastal Cleanup, yep. which was a huge success around uh, Miami-Dade County. But this Saturday on the 25th, if you need volunteer hours, check us out at A.D. Barnes Park for our Eco Action Days. You mm -hmm. either assist in invasive plant removal or special projects in the nature area. So if you need volunteer hours, uh, Miami-Dade Parks has opportunities for you. And we work together. We need we need uh, our patrons to to help conserve. So we can, we're not alone in all of this. It's it's really with our with our patrons and our and our constituents to to you know assist and do their part as well. Yeah, to, we always welcome maintain, what we call yeah. eco heroes. For eco our heroes, exactly. Areas. Exactly. And I do want to mention that this is the season where snorkeling comes back to Crandon Park. We have those dates already um, in our park link calendar waiting for you to sign up. But remember, for all of the programs that I just shared, you must create a park link account. You could add all of your family members. So if you want to um, purchase tickets for events or sign up for summer camps, after school programs, and of course, any of the specialty programs, you must create an account with park link and just sign up user friendly quick um, and you don't have to go to the park site to really plan your next adventure at a park near you. So set up your accounts. I do want to mention if you um, need assistance to set up your account for any of the nature based, please feel free to call 305-666-5885 and we are happy to walk you through that, um, create an account through ParkLink so you don't miss any event or any connection to nature. So I have to tell you, this is pretty much going to wrap up this segment. So much to do at a park near you. And of course, our loving. Loving. Any uh, last minute invites to all of our viewers? I just think that, you know, you must be you must be tired of being cooped up inside your house. And I know Broadway's opening up and all of that, but they're all indoors. This is outdoors, fresh air, live music, food. It's all great. I really recommend you come out to the Lovin' and enjoy. And yes, dress up. Dress 60s, up. 60s, 70s, and 80s. Be part of that costume contest. Again, Lovin' at Reynolds Park in North Miami, taking place October 3rd. Please have your tickets on hand. And of course, uh, Edith, could you share where they could get their tickets at again? Yes. On our webpage, for more information and for tickets, miamidade.gov slash love in miamidade.gov slash love in so for the love of parks fall in love uh and join us from events to programs or just a day at the park but exactly. once again stay tuned see you next monday as we continue to fall in love with your miami-dade county parks